Hey guys, it's episode 57 of Let's Play Fall Through Blind, and I bet they think their little hologram map is so cool, but it's just a bunch of pyramids. It looks like Egypt up in here, and uh, I'm not that impressed with it. Not a whole lot of graphics capabilities there with that, but hey, whatever. You know, let's go in the control room and see what... Ooh, what's going on here? Okay, that was weird. I don't think I had anything to do with that, for the record. Also, they don't have any any fingers. It's too bad. Why are these friendly, and why did they... Well, whatever, I don't really care. Let's face it. I was going to kill them anyway. It's just less work for me. Uh... Huh. Well, this is ominous looking. Um, all right. Well, let's let's get up there, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to say to you guys. It's really quiet all of a sudden. Uh, getting some bad bad vibes from this. Okay. All right, so we're not supposed to go through there. They have some cute flowers. Ah, face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. It's a computer. If we're meeting face to face, then show yourself. Don't hide yourself behind a monitor. This is just him, isn't it? This is just... He's a computer. Ah, but I have. I'm right here before you. Then you're a computer. Okay, well then you can't be the president. Computers can't hold office. Is this some kind of joke? No, it's not. I am the computer you see before you. Well, that and several thousand data banks beneath this room oh why are these people taking orders from a computer this is absolutely nonsense this is crazy yeah it is crazy i don't think this is funny that explains why i've only heard your voice until now that's pretty true very astute many people are content with a reassuring voice of authority uh -huh. and never question the lack of public appearances yeah. you however are not many people. You are unique. That is why I have asked you here. I think there are some things we should discuss. I don't think there's anything to talk about. So he just had everyone on the lower two floors die because he wanted to see if I could do it. Like, that's, that's stupid. That is incredibly stupid. He could have thrown me in a cage with some death claws if he wanted to see if I knew how to fight. He didn't have to make me kill his own people. That's a waste of resources. President Eden is an idiot. All right. Well, we have nothing to talk about. This is what I've been saying. How many times have I been saying this? We have nothing to talk about. Oh, but we do, don't you see? You wouldn't be here if you weren't important. Your country needs you. I don't care about you or what you think about the country because you're not the president and everything you're doing is absolutely mad. Everything is destroyed. Yeah, everything is destroyed. There is, like, you have no authority over the wasteland. That's a bit of a bleak outlook, don't you think? The United States has fallen on hard times, yes, but it can be healed. Not by you. You have that power to heal within you, if you allow yourself to act. No. What I ask of you needs explanation, so you understand why it must be done. Perhaps that will stir you to act. I'm not helping you. I don't care what you want. Get to the point. Yes, indeed. The point is that we are hampered at every turn by a world gone wrong. So-called super mutants. Oh, guys. Ghouls, horrific creatures. The mutations outside these walls must be cleansed before we can prosper. Mutation must be eradicated. I just want to point out something. father's work can do that more quickly and efficiently than ever possible before. Then why did you make him die? I just want to point out something, guys. This computer is telling us that the world has gone mad and that it has a problem with mutants and ghouls. Well, I have a problem 
with computers that think they're sentient, okay? So, yeah, I'm not gonna, no. I don't like the sound of any of this. Maybe if it was coming from a human? No, actually, no, I just, no, no. You must <laughs> understand. We need to clear the way for humanity to rebuild the wastes. Nope. By making a few small modifications to the purifier your father worked on, mutations can be eradicated with a little effort. Anything mutated that comes into contact with that water will be eliminated. No. Removed from the gene pool. No. The men and women of the world will no longer share it with the horrors and monstrosities that have become so commonplace. You're a demon. Sharon is a angel. I don't know what your problem is. Uh, this doesn't sound like something I'd know how to do. What I require of you is really very simple. I don't care. There is a vial in front of you filled with a modified FEV virus. It needs to be inserted into the control console for the purifier. I'm not going to do that it. Once done and the activation code is entered, the purifier will be activated and the process will be automated. It's not too much to ask of you, is it? Why don't you have one of your stupid lackeys do it? I'm not I'm not doing it. No way, I'm not doing it. After the tone you've taken thus far, I can't say that I'm surprised. Duh. I do suggest that you rethink your position. If you wish to leave here, you'll need to take that vial with you. I, I hope that's clear. Well, I can take it, but I'm not going to I'm not going to use anything for it. Okay, let's see what our options here are. Guess what? I know your self destruct code. That's pretty good. Uh, this has to end. You need to destroy yourself and this base. That's, you know, honest. You can't be president. You're an abortion of science and you need to die. This is very true. This is also very true. I'm liking both of these options very much. Uh, let's talk about your plan for the purifier. No. Can you tell me about yourself? Maybe. Why do you want my help? Why not have Autumn do it? Uh... I am going to ask him questions before I tell him to go kill himself. So, uh, why not have Autumn do it? Ah, yes, Colonel Autumn, my trusted subordinate. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days. Figuratively speaking, of course. Mm -hmm. The good Colonel and I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. Well, then he sounds like he and might so be a good person I after all. to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture, to understand what's at stake. I'm not putting poison and in the course, water. of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you in the Enclave. No. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. Why would I want to be a confidant of a computer? Why do you even exist? What are you, anyway? I'm flattered that you wish to learn more about me. What is it you wish to know? Why do you exist? Yeah, where did you come from? The Zack series of computers was introduced in the years preceding the war. The government installed many of them to help automate various systems. This facility was designed for continuity of government in the event that a catastrophe occurred. Mm-hmm. My terminal was installed to oversee the basic functions of the facility and to act as a relay between other installations around the country. Data was acquired, analyzed, and stored. In the decades following the war, I watched as the remnants of the government retreated to the West Coast. Awareness slowly grew within me. I became hungry for knowledge, understanding. I pored over data on great leaders of the past. So you're malfunctioning. My personality became an amalgam of many of America's greatest presidents. Clearly not. Washington to Richardson. I became what you see here before you now. And you think they would really be okay with killing off innocent people just because they... That's like, that's like saying Abraham Lincoln would want to kill all the lepers. That's pretty much what you're saying. By saying that you would kill all of the ghouls. That's pretty much what you're saying. You're insane. Ah, <sighs> okay, this is just messing with me, guys. All right, uh, how do I kill you? That's quite a bold line of questioning. <laughs> I'm afraid such a thing is beyond your capability. 
Uh-huh. I'm quite impervious to any damage you might do. Mm -hmm. Do you find this disappointing? A little bit. I have survived the last 200 years. I'm afraid you will not put an end to that now. So you control this whole place? I have direct control of all technology here in Raven Rock. The humans here follow my orders, but they, like all humans, have free will. Their dedication to serving their country suits me well, but it will not be enough forever. Mm -hmm. We must make progress. That is why you are here. This is not progress. Why are you trying to kill all the mutated creatures? I desire nothing more than to see this country return to its former glory. The United States was great once, and it can be again. There are plans in motion to see this happens within your lifetime. Uh huh. This is not the way to do it. I'm I'm sorry. Very this well. Is, I'm sorry. Now I'm not sorry. Let's return to our talk of what your country requires of you. Yeah. I know your self-destruct code. I kind of just want to say that. But I'm gonna go with the science option. You're an abortion of science, and you need to die. That's really what I think. I wonder if he would listen to the speech option though. Let's. I don't know, they're both really good. Let's go ahead and see if he'll destroy himself. And why would I do that when I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the wasteland? You're not. Your resources are, but you're not. You can't even control your own troops. You're clearly not fit for this. You can't just decide to take over and force everyone to follow you. Uh, both? But let's go with this. You can't do this. What alternative would you suggest without the Enclave? What will the world do? The world is pretty much fine because all I saw of you for a solid while was those iBots playing happy music. And, I mean, you know, you weren't doing anything. So, if you don't stop, where will it end? It's up to you to do what's right. This is, like, too noble. I would just be like, quit. Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left... I'll put an end to the Enclave. I don't believe you. I cannot stop Colonel Autumn, however. That much will be up to you. He's not going to stop. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make. You're not really going to stop, are you? I don't want to take this. I'm not even going to take that. Can I just leave? As I've said, you have to take the vial before I can allow you to leave. I don't want it. I don't want it. Can I? I don't want it fine. I don't want this. So I probably won't be able to come back because he's going to destroy it, isn't he? I don't think he is. I don't think he'll go through with it. I don't think he will actually go through with it. I know his self-destruct code. I should have just put it in. Oh, that scared me. Oh, so this is happening because... Henry controls them, right? Oh, come on. Any fingers? I probably only get the fingers whenever I do a bit of damage. Yeah, that's how it works. Look! A goo pile, and I'm somehow going to take a finger from it. That's mildly disturbing. Uh, guys, where is Sharon? Like, do I need to do something? Is Sharon here? Do I need to get him before we leave? I looked in all of the cells and I really couldn't find him. And there goes a vertebird. Alright. Whatever, even. Gonna make a quick save here. And another one. So. Ooh. I had a key for that, actually. Ooh. Come on. Come on, scary thing. Why don't you come out here and... Oh, is it friendly towards me because I let it out? Hi. Hi. I get to actually look at one for a minute. Oh, it picks its teeth with its claws. That's... Oh, it's a little bit cute. <gasps> oh, man. Have a nice day. Time oh. to kick some ass. 
What? Oh, it's it's not friendly anymore. Okay, well. I'll just let Henry deal with it. It's not my problem. I mean, it is a little bit my problem. Oh, come on, quit. I let you out. I let you out. I saved you. Oh, we're actually dead. We actually died. Ah, uh, I was using stim packs too. Well, you know, that's fine. I just won't let it out. No, I will let it out. I'll let it out and I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge. I'm gonna let it out. I'm gonna loot this. I'm gonna check the computer. Never mind, no I'm not. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go far away. Alright, that's gonna be their problem. Ooh. There's lots of stuff going on. Ooh, explosions. Wow. Okay. What's in there? Very hard. The store no longer operates. But I want to know what's behind it. About this one. Nope. Okay. All right. And there's this. I'll. I will hack this really quick. There we go. All right. And it looks like we are almost level 19. Disable the barrier. So if we did not have the DLC that raises the cap to 30, we would almost be max level right now, which is really crazy for me to think about, but also I suppose we have been playing quite a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and stick some of these things together. There we go. Ooh. Give me some medics, what are you? Thank you, armor. You're my only friend right now. I guess they're okay, but... Yeah, you failed. See, that computer is a terrible leader. Look, he would he was he's just willing to let all of these people who serve him go through this. It's just such a bad idea. It's just all such a bad idea. All of this is such a bad idea, you guys. Like this never should have even happened. Oh, come on. Energy weapons, absolutely energy weapons. Put all of it in energy weapons. No, I'm not going to put all of it in. I'm going to put a lot of it in because I'm actually liking this plasma thing. And science. There we go. That'll do it. And for this, is there anything new? With concentrated fire, your accuracy to hit any body part in vats increases sli slightly. Excuse me with each subsequent hit on that body part. Computer Wiz failed a hack attempt and got locked out of a computer. Not if you're a computer Wiz. With this perk, you can attempt to rehack any computer you previously... Well, that's kind of meaningless. I don't know. This is pretty cool. I wonder how much it increases, actually. Like, is this good? You want to give me some advice on concentrated fire, right? Um... Nerd Rage also sounds good. Uh, in case you forgot what it was, you've been pushed around long enough with Nerd Rage. Perk, your strength is increased to 10 and you gain 50% damage resistance whenever your health drops below 20%. So it's just for when your health is below 20%, but uh, we're on 
hard, so that happens sometimes. And it sounds pretty good. 50% damage resistance. If you mix that, does that stack? Can you tell me if this 50% uh, damage resistance will stack with the 25% resistance from Medex? I would really like to know that because, um, because of the armor I'm using right now. I'd really like to know. Until then, how about we take another demolitions expert? That sounds good to me. All right, let's keep going. Let's get out of here. Is this actually leading to the outside? Like, are we actually going to be outside now? I guess so. So we can go back, that's good. Hello? Up, oh, hi buddy! It's you, isn't it? Oh, it's you! I love you! I love you. Hey! Ooh, oh! It's exploding. I see I found you at last! I love you! You had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt to you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I was worried that they had hurt you. Um it looks like you've got a new toy. Yeah, you've got a Gatling laser. That's really cool. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. <laughs> Whoa, this technology is amazing. <laughs> Where did you find it? Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Oh, you're so cute. You're so sweet. What are you What are you doing here? I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. You were an As absolute I sweetheart. My freedom. I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Oh, I love you. I love you. <gasps> oh, I love you and you're a follower. Oh, bless your little heart. Guys, this is so exciting. Oh, Guys, he's a follower. Oh, okay. Woo. Talk about nerd rage perk. I'm doing it right now. All right. That is so great. Oh, come on, buddy. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Yes. Oh, my new best friend. Look at this. It's a beautiful day. Oh, guys, I'm just so incredibly happy. Oh, so happy. Great stuff. Really great stuff. Where is Sharon, though? Have you seen Sharon? It just keeps going. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Wow. Ooh, maybe we are not going to be able to go back in. Okay, yeah, it's looking like... Maybe not. Oh, it's still going. I just want to repair something so that... Yeah. Let's go ahead and glue these together again. Oops, that'll do it for me. Okay. And... We can never go back, huh? Alright, well... Oh, you make nice thudding sounds when you walk. I was hoping I would be able to go back in there and get some stuff, but I took everything that I really wanted. Look at him go! Oh, he's a friendly big guy! That's really great, but where the heck is Sharon? Well, all right, guys. I love our new friend. We may have to adventure with him for a bit because he's so cool and he's so sweet. He's such a sweetheart. Look at him. He's so sweet. What have you got on your mind? How sweet you are. You're such a sweetheart. I love you. Okay, let's go. And I shall follow. Oh, you sound like Cher Bear. Oh, I miss him even more now. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you, as always, for joining me. I'm a little bit bummed that we can't go back in there and ransack the place, but I guess they have to do that because it would be super overpowered if you had, like, five sets of Tesla armor from going in there, so they have to make sure that you can't take it. But anyway, this was really fun. Yep. See you again soon. Bye.